Hi, today I'm going to talk about a um, solution to one of, uh, um, not a glitch, but a, a problem that occurred in, uh, in the previous Tableau version. So, um, which is uh, regarding the date filter. So, normal, so bef um, previously, um, when you refresh the data, bring in the new data, especially date, um, the filter will, use, will normally uh, remain in the same selection as your previous refresh. So that means um, your, uh, your dashboard is not 100% uh, automated. So today I'm going to show you a solution that you don't need to change. You don't need to uh, publish your dashboard every time to, 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 um, to set the a date filter always to include all the data you have in your new uh, refresh. Okay. So for example, here. So you can see that in, in, my, in my data, I have uh, July and August data here. So you see when I show the filter for the date level, you can see the minimum and the maximum. However, uh, in the previous Tableau version, when you, uh, let's say you are going to do a monthly refresh, when you bring up the new dash, uh, new data, uh, even when you have the September data, when you look at uh, the dashboard that you already published, you will see that the, the, the filters, the maximum, or even the minimum will, 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 um, will be default uh, at, as your last uh, published dashboard. So even if you bring in the September data, your dashboard will very likely to still stop at the August. So in order to do that, you need to open your dashboard to drag it to September and then republish again. But um, there's, a, there's a solution for uh, without uh, publishing again to make it 100% automated. So uh, first of all, let's go to uh, edit the filter for uh, special click non no date so you want to bring all the non no value in, in your filter then select the only relevant value and for the last step go to custom uh, customize show no control when you show no control in your worksheet it will only show it so this box will only show in the worksheet but will not show in the dashboard so if you don't want to show this in the dashboard just do it in the worksheet level so, and you don't need to worry about this will also show in the in the dashboard click on the non no value again okay so now let's look at let's look at the worksheet so let's say we added um, September data here So previously, if you even even if you bring in the September data, when you refresh it, your filter will be very likely to to stop at the uh, uh, still st uh, default uh, in um, uh, August. So um, so after setting up the parameter uh, for those three steps, when you refresh the data, so now let's take a look. If I refresh the data, will this uh, will this site? Uh, so now I so my starting point is, is is unchanged. So now we just worry about the ending point. So now if I refresh the data, let's see if this August will go to will become September automatically or not. Okay, go to data. So now it's August the fourth. Uh, in our original data set, we have September as we just saved the data. Now, as we refresh, you can see that the September data will automatically come uh, come into the dashboard, even when uh, when your previous uh, max point for date is August. So um, this is one of a, a, a problem in the previous Tableau version. But by setting up like this, you don't need to worry about the date anymore. So you can further automate it. Your uh, your uh, regular refresh for the data without adjust the filter every time when you refresh the dashboard. So um, thank you very much.